It's fortunate that Hummel misses that, but they're not able to clean up the mess, and Johnson makes him pay. And look how quickly the Wildcats go down to Kyle Raleigh. Shoots 57% among the conference leaders in blocks. Just an outstanding sophomore season for Jawan Johnson. Thompson from outside hits the three. Okay, now so we're, we're even up, Rembrandt, right? <laughs> Long three, wow. top of the key, and how about that for more? Well, Purdue just keeping Northwestern exclusively between the rings. Merkovic trying to make a move to fake out Johnson off the window. Grant shot puts Purdue up 12-10. Wildcats trying to answer. Thompson, nice, nice, nice floater. Nice play. Ryan down low all alone. Big Ten squad premieres March 13th after the Big Ten tournament, only on the Big Ten Network. Inside, Merkovic scores, and Northwestern having an outstanding start to the first half here at Purdue. Making someone else handle the point guard responsibilities, and when it's Craig Moore, that means he can't run free on the wing. Coble way off, balance shot and hits it along the baseline. Williams needs some help. Finds Murkovic down low, a slashing Nash off the window on the reverse. And how about the delivery from Murkovic? Now the task by Northwestern, hold your composure, quiet the crowd and get back in the game. And get something going to the rim, and they do. And a good strong move for the Wildcats, Sherna on the finish. Thompson in the corner, Sherna quickly fires a three, it won't go. Murkovic gets the offensive rebound. Nice job, and then an excellent pass from Murkovic again. Luka Murkovic. And that's a score right now with 35 points for Purdue. If Northwestern's gonna have any chance, the winning score cannot be in the 70s, it needed to be in the 50s. So Craig Moore was kind of a no man's land defensively. Do I gap him because of his ability to make something off the dribble and then he can knock down the long three? Thompson from way downtown, way off the mark. And look at Ryan come in and keep it alive. Cole the move, and he hit. Nice, nice interior feed. And Challison bailed out Northwestern by putting it on the deck, allowing Thompson to come over. More nice feed to Cole on the finish. And a timeout call by Purdue. Purdue gets back to defense under 10. Merkovic open. Can't connect. Ball loose. Gets his own rebound. Kicks it out to run. More left open. Top of the key. And he's so dangerous wide open. Chris Kramer now right back on Craig Moore. Koble. Tough shot on the baseline. Wow. Which went right on top of him. Nice show there by Johnson until Keith Grant able to help out. More from downtown. Answering the bell every time it looked like Northwestern was going to cut into that lead. Raleigh on the reload. Northwestern keeps it alive and a fresh clock for Purdue. And that's one where Kyle Raleigh needs to grab it with two hands rather than bat it around. Coble on the block. Ball poked away. Grant gets it back, but this time a steal. Here comes Thompson. Going to head to Moore. Nice, nice feed back to Coble. Nice extra lead because I'm telling you what, Jawan Johnson had that thing measured up if Craig Moore goes up with it. I think Craig Moore sensed that and gave it up to the trailer. Ten-point lead by Purdue is gone. We are tied at 47. Ryan penetrates and kicks. Thompson, shot partially blocked. Raleigh gets the nice pass. Ball. And Ryan finishes. How about the pass from Rowley? The wraparound. Right now at the top of that defense, you've got Jeremy Nash. And boy, that's a dangerous pass. And Thompson calls timeout, and it will be honored. The defense coming strong for Northwestern, and Michael Thompson grabs it, calls a timeout to ensure that they keep the basketball. And now it won't have Big Ten regular season championship implications any longer. Williams, the move. Oh! The window scored and a foul with five seconds left on the shot clock. Your two leading scores in Coble and Moore on the bench right now. Ball loose. Murkovic keeps it alive. Six on the shot clock. 
Wow, big hoop one more time for Williams. Williams passes up the shot, Thompson takes it short, and the rebound by Nash. And Not the rebound, though, shot clock and Craig down at two. And good. There's a post up, trying to get it, but a nice job by Murkovic of forcing the pass away. Shot blocked. Trying to open up those driving and dribble penetration lanes. Shot clock down to three. Johnson got his hand on it, but the ball hit the rim, and a fresh clock as Northwestern gets it back. Shot clock under 10. Inside, Sherna. Kicks it back out. Williams off the mark this Murphy time. Murphy 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 another rebound and another fresh shot clock for the Wildcats. Murkovic hands it off. Kobel. Hummel falls down. No call. Kobel left open. Hits a shot along two. 1.30 to go. Kramer goes out. Pages. Berkovic all alone, off the window and in. 14.6 seconds to go, Purdue trails by four. Hummel to the free throw line. That's off. Short, oh, rebound Northwestern. Kobel's got it. He'll go the other way to the free throw line. A couple of free throws to make it a full two possession game. First one on the way, it's good by Kobel. He's got 15. The Badgers and the Gophers coming up next here on the Big Ten Network from Williams Arena. Two for two at the free throw line and a six point advantage. And his teammates here have to come help him and give him somewhere to throw the ball. Thompson's got it, fouled right away. 6.7 seconds. Thompson with 10 points in this ball game goes to the free throw line. 0 for 1 so far in the ball game. First one bounces in. One. And that may be enough with 6.7 seconds to go. The Badgers and Gophers standing by on the Big Ten Network. Moments away from the opening ticket tip at Williams are in and Thompson hits a pair 64-59. To the hole, one second to go for Jackson. Northwestern inbounds and that's it. The Wildcats pull off the upset on the road over 20th ranked Purdue, 64 to 61. Well, it was the inside play by Northwestern, which was really the difference, Craig. Points in the paint, just a big edge for the Northwestern Wildcats on the road, and a rare opportunity for the Wildcats to have more second chance points than their opponents. A valiant effort by Purdue here, led by Chris Kramer, just falls short here in the second stanza. 64-61, the final score now for the Hampton winning his play of the game. And it's the tip pass right there from Kevin Kobel ahead to Luka Murkovic, which allowed Northwestern to have a two-score advantage, and that's why our it is our Hampton winning his play of the game. At Hampton, we love having you here. What a ball game here from West Lafayette, Indiana. 64-61 is the final score. The proceeding has been an exclusive presentation of the Big Ten Network. For Sean Morris, I'm Craig Kishan saying so long from West Lafayette. Again, 64-61 the final score. Let's go back to our Big Ten Network studios.